Hello, my name is Mark Christensen and I work for a company called RBA. We would like to share with you today this how-to video on exporting data for re-importing. This can be a very helpful tool if you have data elements that need to be added or changed on many records that already exist within your CRM 2011 tool. To start this process, you would need to open a view within CRM with the data that you want to alter and then go to export accounts in the ribbon up above select static worksheet and check the box in the lower left hand corner which will allow the data for re-importing click on export and we will save the file save as and I'm going to save this to my desktop Now that that is complete, we can close out of the advanced find and move over to Excel. I'm going to open the file we just exported in Excel. It was on my desktop. Now you can see that the data that was in that view is now uh, all exported and showing in Excel here. You'll know, also notice that the Enable Editing button needs to be clicked before we can uh, alter any data. Uh, it opens up in a protected mode. Now that we've uh, enabled this uh, uh, document for editing, you can size any of the, uh, the fields that you'd like. Um, we're going to alter the relationship type uh, for our uh, demonstration purposes. And as you can see, the relationship type within my demo CRM site is uh, an option set. Uh, with the export will come all the uh, uh, data elements from that option set, such as uh, you see here. Um, I'm going to select prospect and I'm going to update all these accounts we uh, exported with the relationship type of uh, prospect. I can drag that down, fill down the data, and now you'll see prospect in all uh, all the uh, the accounts we exported. Once that is done, once you've changed all the data elements in Excel, you can save this document and click on yes. And we can close out of Excel now. We'll move back over to CRM and go to the Import Data tool, which is in the ribbon up above. We'll select Import Data. We will browse to my desktop and we will select the file that we just altered. Click on Next, and we will want to submit this file for importing by clicking on the Submit, bottom, submit button in the bottom. Once that is done, click on Finish. Your job has now been, your import job has now been submitted for processing. And to uh, check on the status of uh, an import job, you can click on Workplace and select Imports. And you can see that uh, the import job that we just submitted uh, for, has completed. And there were 20 records total, 20 successes. We have success, successfully re-imported the data that uh, we needed to make alterations to. Uh, and that is uh, how you can export data, make mass changes to the data, and then re-import it into uh, CRM. I hope, hopefully this will uh, help you uh, with some of the tasks that you need to do within CRM. And uh, um, thank you very much for your time today.